Greetings, friends. My name is Conrad Leonard. I am so excited, very honored to share with you about the Think to Prosper book. This book has surely changed my life. In 2019, I got to learn of a gentleman called Stan Reynolds from the United States. He had this tremendous book, the amazing book, the Think to Prosper book. I was so taken up by the title, Think to Prosper. I took up the book, read the book, and I tried to understand it. I watched several videos of him teaching the same book on YouTube. Several videos are there on YouTube. After watching the videos, I saw several testimonies about the same book. I was taken up. I felt like reading the book. I read the book and I got to understand it. I can't say I 100% understand the book, but at least I got the knowledge that I needed to get from the book. What does the book teach? It teaches self-help principles. So this is how the book has helped me. I started up a salon. How did I start up a salon? Personally, in 2019, I didn't know anything like a salon. I didn't know how it works. I'll go to a salon and trim my hair or cut my hair. Well, I got to realize that there is a difference between a salon, the way we take it here in Uganda, and how it is said in the United States. But in Uganda, a salon is where someone goes and then they cut his hair, or maybe they make his hair, or maybe I don't know how best I can explain that, but where you go, find a barber, and then they'll cut your hair. That is the salon. That is what I did. So I started up a place where someone can go and they cut their hair. So this is how it started. I was just there with a friend of mine. We were just sharing knowledge. I felt like I, I needed to start up a business, a small business where I can get a little earning from it. So I went on, did a few research. I had little money and felt like from the research I had done, it could help me start up a salon. So I went on left all these other businesses I felt like I could start up and decided to start up a salon. After being sure that I can start up a salon with the money I had, I went on to ask friends, those that I know that maybe had knowledge about the salon or those that had started up a salon at some point. The friends told me, it is easy and it is possible for you to start up a salon, but your expectation should be limited. Limited to what? The money you're going to earn from the salon. So they told me, don't look at the money you're going to get from the salon. Look at investing and keeping earning from the business. Whether it is 1,000, whether it is 2,000, as long as there is something coming from the business. Because in five years from today, you won't be having that money if you don't invest that money. So that is how it started. And that's how I went on to start up a salon. The salon started, I think from the experience, I had really not done enough research and I had not learned so well not gone so deep to understand the Thing to Prosper book. In simple terms, the Thing to Prosper book teaches about the logic die. A logic die is a mnemonic device that triggers your mind. What is so interesting in the Thing to Prosper book is the logic die. It will teach you about focus, divide and decide, seek wise counsel. That is side one, side two, and side three. If you can repeat the process, focus, divide and decide, seek wise counsel. I'm sure it is going to help. So I can say when I started up a salon, I was really 
I had not done enough research and the salon didn't go well as I expected in the beginning. In the beginning, I didn't get much from it like I expected. So my expectations were so high. Later on, I decided to start up a butcher where someone can go and buy meat. This is how it started also. A friend of mine came to me and told me he wanted something to me. I shared with him and he told me he can be at a butcher. He can sell meat. So he told me he can sell meat. I told him, it's okay, how much capital do we need? He didn't know how much we needed. And this gave me time to see the place, see what is needed, and then decide if I can start or if I can leave. The first thing I did after looking at the place where I thought I would put this butcher, I called my father. My dad, he has been in the meat business, buying and selling animals, cows, goats. So him being in that business, he had some broader knowledge about selling meat than I really had. So I called him and told him, dad, I have this idea and I want to start up a butcher. What can you advise me? He told me, you know what? This is what you should expect, and this is what you should not expect. He went on and guided me. That is the side view of the logic die. Seek wise counsel. Before you start up any business, you need to seek wise counsel from people that have done the business before or from people that have more knowledge about the business. It doesn't really guarantee that after asking those people you should take their idea it is not true it still goes back to you that is why the side the, the, the logic die has six sides you no know, has seven sides that is you so you're the final person you have to decide to either take the idea or leave the idea and ask some other people you're not limited to how many people you should ask about the business it can be your education it can be anything. But from my experience, I'll tell you that I really took all the sides of the logic die, try to understand them. And as I talk right now, my salon is doing well, my butcher is doing well, and I'm earning something from them. I'll be honest to tell you that it is because of the logic die, it is because of the thing to prosper that I've been able to start up the butcher and the salon. It is too much I can share, I know. On 16th October this year, 2023, we expect to meet Stan Reynolds, the founder of Educational Missions. He plans to visit Uganda. Thank you so very much, Stanley, for choosing Uganda. We are so happy. We can't wait to see you around. We can only wish you all the best. Thank you for all you've done for Ugandans. Thank you for all you've done for my colleagues, for my colleagues. Thank you for what you've done for me. Thank you for sharing your knowledge. 